What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Modern Cube Draft here on the Nickelback channel. I'm the Nickelback channel, huh? Well, don't make it sound like you don't know about our channel. Look at this photograph, Mike. Maybe the word of you chewing into the mic has spread. <laughs> we were putting your name in various TV shows. It was a bit... Never mind. <laughs> But there's all that you're like, settle a debate. Is it always Mike in Philadelphia? And I'm like, I don't know if that's a debate. I don't think anyone's really arguing that guy. Well, that's an easy pick. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Magic. We just went 2-1 with a black-white deck. And then we lost to... Uh, we quarantined field of the Vraska. And then they played Vivian Reed, killed the quarantine field, got back the Vraska. And I was like, well, that's, that seems good. that's top tier. Am I taking over the channel? It might go a bit downhill. Are you taking over? Oh, no. Nickel. No, the other nickel. The other nickelback. Are you nickelback? It might go downhill, though. I don't I don't know. I don't know you personally, Nick, but I, I can't vouch for the quality that you would that you would bring to the channel, unfortunately. Maybe if I take a better look at your deck list, then I might have an idea of what kind of person you are. Hmm. I think it's, it's just this, right? Yeah, make sure you pick it in case, just in case. You never know with the moto. It's already in here. <clears throat> Don't reserve it. You never know what could happen. Wow. <laughs> that was actually pretty funny. I can vouch for the quality. Not good. <laughs> well, I appreciate the honesty. The honesty definitely adds some definitely uh, some quality points there. Let's pick here, man. I'm going to let Mike make all the picks. And I say that up until the point where he stops making the picks. Which and then I'll take over, which will probably be about three picks in. I think it's either Heha Math or Time Warp. I don't want to. I don't want to jump into Trouble Black here. I do like and a Time, time warp, warp though. Yeah. Worm and Warp. Look, you're yeah. Hmm. There you go. Worming and Warping. We got B Skull. We got. I hate Barrels the B Skull and all the swords are in this cube, but you can't play Stoneforge because it's unbanned. My biggest defense of unbanning Stoneforge Mystic is just so you can add it to the modern cube. Wow. That's it right there. Uh. Cyclonic Rift's pretty busted. Oh. It's too big to actually like fly off efficiently. Yeah, it takes Cyclonic Rift. Over Mold Drifter? I think so. I agree with you. I think it's fine. Morgan! My favorite Morgan. Now do we take the quad black card? No. No, we don't. I've had Grizzle Pergat a bunch of times in this cube, and I literally just can't. I'd never cast him. And there's not enough ways to discard him to actually like put him back into play, like you. There's because it's modern, so you don't have, like buried alive. You don't get like. Do you get kickbacks? People buy MeUndies using. Uh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. If you go to meundies.com slash Frank Lepore, I will get a kickback from that. Let's take duplicate. Yeah, over yeah. like Pestermite. Well, it's only good if you get the Kajikums. Kajikums, Kajikums, McJikums, you might say. Yeah. Also, Serum Vision. You don't like Serum Vision? It's okay. It's okay. It's a it's modern staple, bro. It's too fair. But this is broken. It is only Kiki Jiki. Like, that's the only thing you can get. I'll take a duplicate. I think that's fine. Ooh, big Oogs. Someone said easy serum. How come I feel like Ugin is so much easier to cast than Nickel Bolas? Maybe because you can play... Not Nickel Bolas, uh, Gristle Brand. I think it's because you can play Ugin in all the green decks. So you can just bump him out there. I think it's the pick here. I need an excuse to buy myself some stuff. Awesome, Morgan, you're the best. And also, I can definitely vouch for their quality because they're real soft. I have some on the desk. I'm touching them right now. You can't see it. I was going to bring them over, but it was too much work. What would you say? Ugin boy. Yeah? Over Ugin. Rifflin Clonscape? Yeah. Oh, God. Ugin wins more games than Rifflin Cloudskate. Rifflin Cloudskate? What's a Cloudskate? Your mom. Your mom. All right. I'm going to take it. Good Jace boy. Take a Bomat Courier. No. That's so weird. What's weird? <laughs> it's because they sent me free samples, not because I keep underwear on my desk. I promise. It's also never been worn. It's totally clean. It's only for display purposes. It's a display model. Definitely Jace. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> I was just waiting for you to say it. I like Ultimate Price here. Do you? Mm hmm. You don't know, like Breeding Pool? Yes. I mean, we're not green yet, though. 
It's so weak because of its. I'm taking this away from you. He can't oh, have it anymore. Dang it. Yeah, we're not black yet either. So, like. <laughs> Fine, take the stupid breeding pool. Yeah, Whatever. got him. Look, now you can take a Hornet Queen. No. No, let's take a sensor. Okay. I'm actually not a fan of Stratus Dancer either. Like, I think it's fine. No, I don't like that card. But, like, I'm never excited about it. <clears throat> Ad combo, man. Frank, didn't you learn your lesson with the hammer? Wow. Do they have green screen colored on these? Probably, because uh, that would just be called green. But also, uh, I don't know if anyone would ever be in a position to wear them on stream. So, you just have one more questions than you answered on your desk. On the oh, did <laughs> so, yeah, MeUndies sent me samples. And I keep them out here. Just skip that over just a little bit so I don't knock your, knock your juice all over. And I have some red, some, oh god, they're so, they, they're seriously soft though. I got some red micromodal unders. And then I got these gray micromodal unders. And they're real soft. And I'm, I, oh, oh, I like a rally, Zally. And I also have some socks. Pro modal, no show with seamless toe. Eighty-one percent pro modal. They're super well, seamless toe. They're so su they're super soft. <clears throat> I keep saying it, but I I and also like it's funny because sometimes when I mention it on stream, people are like, "Yeah, they're amazing." And I'm like, "All right, I'm gonna take this guy." Sure. And the pestermite's gonna come back, so that's gonna be cool. Ooh, sulfur falls. But also lumbering falls. But we have a red card. We don't have a green card. Fair. So is it sulfur falls? Yeah, I guess. But I guess. Ooh, Barrel's Expertise, let's take that. That's actually pretty sweet. I think that card's great. Nailed it. And the right, Gristle well, Brand's still it. in the pack, so like everyone else knows what's going on here. Alright, I guess we're taking Pestermite. Pernicious dude, I'm actually really excited to hear that. That's actually awesome, dude. Way to go. Thought Skur. Really? Mm-hmm. Over Rashmi? Yeah. I'm not impressed with that card. You're impressed with Thought Scour? I'm not I'm not taking that Thought Scour, man. But card selection. What do you select? I'm a dad. You literally just draw a card. It's not like Serum Visions, man. You just take Banefire. It mills too, and then you draw a card. Alright, here you go. I haven't been a Moloku fan for a while. Yeah, card sucks. I think it's a segment here. I agree with you. Also, goo, torrential gear hulk. Did you see that goo that came out for? Ooh, goo, torrential gear hulk. I mean, we only have one thing to get back, so two things. What sensor and cyclone? Sensor's yeah. not even great. I'll force bike you. Yeah, I'll just take the. Is it Signaria? I'll put you in the sideboard because maybe we're also just maybe we're just teamer, bro. Things have finally hit the tipping point where I need to give. Yeah, I, I, I'm really, I'm really happy for you, buddy. That sounds awesome. I look forward to hearing your progress. This pack's actually pretty nice. Am I crazy or is it just Seagate Oracle? I think you're crazy. I would actually lean toward Glorybringer or Electrolyze. Glorybringer is really strong. And this QB is? All right, take it's double red though. I'm really, I'm kind of reluctant to take it because of that. I think Electrolyze is better than Seagate Oracle though. Okay. Ooh, it's my favorite. This guy? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh boy. Don't think it's the pick though. I don't think so either. I don't think the ten mana. This pack kind of sucks. You kind of suck. Wow. That's not really a thing. I don't have it. Yes, I was aware. I always have the jazz that's playing previously stuck in my head. I guess Cryptologist? When I come back. Uh, really? I would like... Mm. Maybe Carol Keep guy? Uh, I don't like that either. I don't really. like that either. I like Pyroclasm. <clears throat> it's going to be super weak. You don't know the cube that well, though. There's a bunch of one and two drafts. Like, it's a modern cube. It's not like a legacy cube, dude. Alright. Put it in the board. Let's 
So you got a Guild Lotus, we got a Char, we got a Whirl of Rogue. I think it's just Whirl of Rogue. We need, we need, like, threats and creatures. Do we need threats? We got three creatures. I don't know what the problem is. Right, One of them is Consecrated creatures. Sphinx. I'll take the Whirl of Rogue. I can also see taking the pull from tomorrow. The mortars or Supreme Will? Probably Mortars. Warders? Mortars. Warders? Mortars. What about Mindstone? You like Mindstone? I mean, it's okay. This is this is mediocre, man. Anybody care about I that? This is a modern cube with all the creatures. Would you charge extra for the let MTGO pick step? Uh, we just let time. Uh, probably not extra, no. Um, okay, look, I mean, like, I wouldn't charge extra for that, but on the same hand, on the other hand, like, that doesn't sound very, it doesn't sound fun is the problem. Because we have literally no control over the draft. There's no decisions to be made. And also we're just waiting until time every single turn, which is kind of bad for the draft, for like the, for the stream, you know, it's bad for the content. What were you saying? What did you say? I'm just taking mine stone, it's fine. I think it's better. Ooh. Uh, someone said this guy was actually good. I mean, it I, bounces the thing. So yeah, I actually think it's fine. and It's probably good in cube. Yeah. I'm, I'm not a fan of it in standard, but... Uh, in my opinion, what's the difference between this modern cube and last season? I actually don't know. It's hard to say. I don't actually remember any real... Like, I don't... I don't remember a, enough of it. Um, I think it's P and Q here. Really? Yeah. Huh. Like, we're just not heavy red, and you want to take a double red card. Interesting. I was thinking Teferi, but... Yeah, he's triple blue. But we're, like, what does that matter? We, we're mono blue almost, except for two red splashes. It just doesn't do anything. That's a good one. Teferi doesn't do anything? Have you never played Teferi? Can people in the chat please tell Mike that Teferi does something? He does nothing. Alright, Torrential Gear Hulk came back, and it's a lot better now with Cryptic Command. Yeah. Electrolyze. And, and the other two. Even if that's nice. Even if that's all we have. <clears throat> this is just a good threat. Well, Seagate Oracle and Glory Bringer both came back as well. I'm not a big Careful Consideration fan just because... Eh, it's actually fine. Yeah, that's Glory Bring. I like that. You don't want another early three drop? Nah. I'm going to take it because of you, but I don't like it. Guess we're taking <laughs> Abbott here. Uh, pull from tomorrow definitely -doo -doo. look the mortars, mortars came back yeah. you demo oh wow Thank you. we got all the Pia's Snizzlemoo thank you so much for the resub welcome back really appreciate See, it there's our early 3 drop there you go look we got Pia and Pia and Karen Alar after her husband died she stood alone yeah look he came back wow that's gas Oh my god, last last pick Teferi is unbelievable to me. Do we have You know they can't respond to anything, right? Like if you play Teferi during combat, you just eat their guy and they can't do anything. Sure. If you're playing against a blue deck, they're basically dead. But where's the blue deck? That will kill us. How do we win? What what? Man, I wish we had that. Pester mine now. We do have the pester mine. Oh, then take it. <laughs> Thought we didn't have it. I wish we had that. Pe How are you making picks in this cube if you don't even know the cards in your deck? I thought we didn't have it for some reason. No, it came back. We don't have it because you didn't take it, but then it just came back. Well, that paid off. Triple. Now look at this. Steam vents, please. My kingdom for a steam vents. Happy boy. Are you sure? You don't want... F I can't even make a joke because this pack is pretty bad other than Snappy Boy. Oh, Snappy Boy. I'm going to take this Abbot of Carol keep out. Yeah. 
I'm going to take Sensor out. I don't, think it's, I don't think it's good. I think we're taking Tefra out if we're playing Kiki Jiki. I think we can cut one of these. I think we probably cut this. I don't think we're playing Ugin. This is not an Ugin deck. Why not? Because it's eight mana. <laughs> we'll get there eventually. <coughs> I'd rather just win the game before that. He wins the game pretty well by himself. No, he doesn't. He dies. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. He nukes all their colors, bro. He nukes your colors too, you stupid Mitch. Got him. No, we just don't have any on board. It's fine. They don't have any colors on board. What problem is? Bleh. Cut Dream Meter. I want to play Dream Meter though. Like I actually want to try it out. It's a new card in the cube. I don't think it's good in standard for sure, but I think it's I think it's probably on. It's I mean I think it's, it's value is flying threat that bounces the thing. It seems fine. Yeah, in, in a limited in a, in a cube, I think it's totally fine. Oh, definitely Goblin Guide. <sighs> Not JK Incinerate. That's actually a really good pickup for us. Really? I was going to say Treasure Map. Incinerate's good with Gearhulk and Snapcaster. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, all of these, actually both of these have Flash, and that's pretty nice. <clears throat> we can Flash if we want to. Nature's Little Treasure, did you answer me about what happened to Japoshi? About your, your Japoshi account? Did you say like you lost the password at was it an EDU password and you just never you never got it? Was that what happened? Map makes treasures to make RR map for sure map, yeah. I, I, I think I think you done messed up AA Ron. And I, I it's my fault I enabled you. Putting a synergy it's good synergy. All instants and sorceries are good synergy. You can't just say just because it's an instant means it's a good card in your deck. Sure it is. It deals with early threats. But do we need that? Like, we already have Electrolyze, Mizium Order, Cyclonic Rift. We can dome the face or go out Planeswalkers. I'm taking the spiral yeah, for now. Yeah, that's good. Oh, Mind Control? How many 5 drop? This game seems really 5 drop dense. I mean, there's nothing else in this pack I would take over a Mind Control here, but... No, there's really nothing in this pack for us. I'd probably cut the Barrel's Expertise for that if I had to. <laughs> Our man's pretty good. So is Titan, Titan too. Jeez. The deck is way top heavy. I like Roman though. Yeah, let's take Roman. Dang it. Why couldn't you be... Oh, Sahili Rai. More like Trash Can Planeswalker. Trash Can Planeswalker. What if the Feldar Guardian comes back? Then you're going to feel real silly. But then we have to play white also. You feel real silly. I'm still taking it. It's still a Planeswalker. A bad one. Braid's nice for the board. I would play Braid over Incinerate 100% okay, sure. of the time. <clears throat> old, old Barrel. We got good old Staffin in. And we got Flame Slash. I guess Flame Slash. I don't know. You're not even sure? No. I don't think we're playing any of it. So. I, I mean, I would play Flame Slash over like Mizium Mortars. I mean, it's one man, and like, you're, the odds of you over, overloading <clears throat> this are pretty low. You don't know me. Uh, I know enough. I'll take Walking Ballista. I'm sure. Your Goblin Guide came back, bro. Nice. I'm gonna take Tectonic Edge. <clears throat> oh, both of these came back. These are these are the two I wanted. We have an Abrade. I think we can probably just take Exclusion Mage and probably find a place for sure. it. Sure. Uh, okay. No. No. Doesn't matter. All right. So it's either we're cutting one of these five drops for sure. Wow, Inferno Titan came back? Holy smokums. I think it's probably Barrel's Expertise. <clears throat> I think I like Mind Control better. This bounces three permanents. Return to three target artifacts and or creatures. Yeah. It's not bad. Unless you cast a three drop for free, right? Four drop for free. It's always one less than the cost of the spell. So if this is like, if their Expertise is six, then you can play a free five drop. It's actually pretty well. We're definitely cutting this Healy Rye. All right, see you later, Sahili. Cut the Mizium Mortars. Everything else here is good. Exclusion Mage, the other Dap, Mana War. You can only pick one, which is it? Mana War. 
I mean, it's just a it's just a more iconic, cooler exclusion mage, right? Like it's the same card, right? Also, exclusion mage is a uh, creature and opponent controls. Mana war is not; it's any creature, so so it's actually just better. Yeah, because you can bounce your own guys. Aether Adept is also double blue, so like for cards like that in cube, I always want the most the most unrestrictive version of those cards. I think mind control is a little better than Barrel's expertise. Oh, I agree. Two more cuts though. One of these six drops has got to go. I, the only reason I I mean I the only reason I want to play Dream Eater is because I haven't yet and I want to see if it's any good. <clears throat> I definitely think it's the worst out of them though. I agree with you. Yeah, I agree with you. Bouncing a dude just doesn't impress me for six mana. I'm sorry. Like, this is a six six. This is a five six. This is a four. All these guys have six toughness. These are these are iconic magic mythics. Six toughness each for six mana. Got one more cut here. This has three toughness. Burp, I can see burp. cutting like. I can see cutting P and R. Meandy says a color called Goblin Blue. That's pretty awesome. Really? It's a two for one. It's just a great a great creature. I would rather cut Whirler Rogue. What about Time Warp? We're not really abusing it that much. I can see that. Yeah, I like that. We only have like one Planeswalker, so. Well, I have like one Planeswalker, but. Scabity, bop, bop, bop. It's 10 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, but it's just actually 9 11. Okay. Never forget. 9 11 confirmed. <laughs> Bush did 9 11. Is an inside job. Gave your mom an inside job. Oh, my. <laughs> oh Jesus. Did you? No. Wow. JK did. Oh, I just knocked over something. That's good. What was it? Some empty card thingy. Wow. This is why I, I can't. These things. Top loaders? Yeah. They're called top loaders, Michael. I don't know where they went. <laughs> it's okay, man. I'll oh, just it, was only, it was only one. I'll just live in filth, I guess. I, I found out where it is. There's only one. I'm going to keep this hand. I don't think I can get it, though. So now it lives there. Well, you can just pick it up next time you give my mom an inside job. How about that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, Jesus. If you turn them upside down, they're bottom loaders. That's actually true. I can't argue with that. And where's Flame Slash when you need it? It's in our deck. But we need it. <laughs> no, I understand that. That was implied by the question. Oh, they missed the land drop. So where's a land drop for our opponent when you need it, I guess? Oh, we're going to go upkeep and we're going to tap down this land. You ready for this? <clears throat> we're having a good time. What if he didn't need it, though? Well, good for him. What are you going to do? Are we just going to win this game? They just missed two land drops? What do they keep? like? They're like Dread Wander, and they're like, I'm going to ride this one out. I guess so. Maybe they have a bunch of two drops. Maybe. Land. Oh, you, you son of a snickle. Son of a son, son of a son, son of a son of a sailor. I like how close you get to the mic. You're like, this is going to be my moment. <laughs> you just talk right into it. Uh, all right, well, we hit another land, so that's nice. What are the odds this guy survives and they don't have a... Uh, what do you call it? Go for the throat. What if this what if this pestermite just goes the distance? I have a feeling this is snap dead, but here we go, ready? Waiting to pay costs. Oh no, they're scrying. I guess. Don't do it. 
Yeah! Once you hit that draw step. Woo! The endorphins start rushing. That dopamine kicks in. It was two lands, so it, 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 it quickly goes down, but... We do kind of want a third red, but... We have a third red. I mean, we do now, because we drew it. Okay, there's a lot of lands. Let's crack that stone. I was just going to... Yeah, all right, we can do that. Brilliant. Brilliant! <clears throat> what? Attack them. Who, why would I exert there? Come on. Son of a son of a sailor. What is that? Is that a song? Yes. Wow. Okay, well, this is about... They're really putting up a good fight here, I'm going to be honest. For us having drawn 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 actual spells and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 lands. 12 if you count Mindstone. I did. I counted Mindstone and his Signet. I'm already on it, all right? Sassy boy. Oh, sassy boy. Sassy boy. Boy, he's in, he's in rare form today. Got a real son of a sailor over here. <clears throat> oh, Chuparino. Huh? All right, you kill my floaty boy. And then we're going to flame slash this and kill you. Now you don't have enough. Wait, that's what you kill? You're leaving four of the flyers on board? A wise decision. Hmm. Not really. We did put those spells in the... Hunter, stop licking yourself. God, all he does is lick himself. <clears throat> oh, I'm definitely killing that. Frank and the Barbobbly Booze with the two months. <laughs> Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Actually, I'm probably just going to steal this. Were you the son of a sailor? Yeah. Is that why your dad, uh, is that why I left? Did you go to sea? Mm hmm. Well, that's interesting. <clears throat> Owned by Cubas. Look, we got Cubas playing Chubas. All he does is lick himself? That is actually not an untrue statement. Win. Hooray. <sighs> I mean, they ended up with six lands. That's a good amount. We were a little too far ahead, though. You son of a sailor, you. I wonder if, I wonder if Pyroclasm's good here. They had Chupacabra, Hypnotic Specter, Dread Wanderer. Didn't they discard a creature? <clears throat> probably. You don't know. You just yeah, sure, probably. You just make make whatever up. Make whatever up. Make 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 God, I hate you so much. I wanna take out the remand. That's random. Why? It's probably good. You mean it's remandum? No, I mean it's random. Remandum. Gotta hate you. <laughs> Mike's dad was a sailor boy. <laughs> 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 it was a quality Avril Lavigne meme. Avril Lavigne. Plow under is always good. Make no mistake, Nicholas. Make no mistake, Nicholas. Oh, this hand looks great. Turn three cryptic command and turn four Ralph. <clears throat> Keep it all day. Oh. I feel worse about our hand now. I loaded up your stream and went to sub immediately the stream started glitching and you and Mike look like a head bobbing meme. We'll never unsee. Uh was that a glitch though? Hmm. Well, this is a sad hit. I obviously hope we can draw a Mindstone here on turn two. That's not it. Thanks a lot. Thanks for nothing, Magic the Gathering. Good flashing and block. Yeah, that seems bad. You're right. I know. But he played <laughs> his land. We could have got him so bad. That's true. He wouldn't be able to get this guy back this turn. All right, that card's obnoxious. All right. I'm not having a good time anymore. First hit Cryptic Command, next hit Rowls. Hmm. What if I move the cards? Will they hit worse? 
I don't think that's how random works. Oh, well, they got land. Good. They did it. Pyroclasm. That's still pretty good. That's still pretty good. Can confirm. I'm tempted to tap the team and do a thing. Tap team, draw a card. Doesn't seem terrible. I'd rather just keep the cryptic command in my hand. We're going to draw a card from this guy anyway, though. Oh, you can see how good Pyroclasm would be here. <clears throat> I think it's to draw a card. Yikes. Yikes, McGikes. This game is totally different than game one. God, hitting this signal is insane. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <clears throat> oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> what an emotional roller coaster this has been. Oh, boy. Yep, didn't think that guy was going to survive more than one turn. Or one turn, I guess. Cobra Laser Face, thanks so much for the resub. Welcome back. Cobra Laser Face? Yeah, you haven't been here Dang. with Cobra Laser Face? No. It's, it's the best it's name in the multiverse. Well, I guess we just Snapcaster Flashback Electrolyze. What does that do? Just kill this guy? Yeah, kill that guy, block the Legast. You want to keep Cryptic Command up? <clears throat> I mean, he's not going to play any could spells. Could just play Whirler Rogue. Yeah, we could do that. That Bitter Blossom's going to be the death of us. No, it'll kill them first. <laughs> you think so? No. Oh, just this guy, huh? That's fascinating. Alright, I'll just take two then. I'll go to two. I ain't scared. Can you imagine if we went like Kiki Jiki Pestermite? Uh, we will counter that. That's pretty good. Now we have like two of the same card in hand right now. They're both two twos that make two one one flyers. You are correct. I know. So actually, it gives us perfect blockers. <clears throat> we can also rail and kill this at some point. So now we can go block, block, block. Seems fine. They do draw like two cards though, and they also have a removal spell because they never don't. Yep. <laughs> yeah, you have to attack because otherwise I'm dead. Like, I don't know why you would not attack here. Don't be stupid. Yeah, we're just gonna go to the next game. Us going to one does not leave us a lot of a lot of wiggle room here. I really wish you could divide fight with fire when they don't have... Busy Mortar seems good here. I mean, yeah, but, like, we didn't really have six. <clears throat> don't don't get me wrong. I don't disagree with you. Pull from tomorrow is probably too slow here. Yeah, I agree with that. I like walking ballista here, too. Over... I don't know. I think this is actually good. Like, we have I a brave... I can cutting, like, Peer and Kirlin or Galar for it. Really? These are just nice, wide bodies. <laughs> <laughs> Damn boy, he's thick. Boy, that's a thick ass boy. Damn. Nice <laughs> wide bodies. You got them nice ah! wide. <laughs> well, you like that? We're having a good time here. He got. A, he's having a good time. Oh, we should have burned in barrels expertise. That actually would have been good. Oh, we should have brought this in. Uh, it's too late now. Wow. Sorry. Sorry. You sound like that. Mike was a skater boy. His dad was a sailor boy. Said, so see you later. <laughs> you messed it up real bad. Shut up, man. God. Oh, good. The one card that we have that can kill this is what they're going to take. 
how are they gonna have turn three hypnotic specter again because i will rage and lots of good lots of good draws here they have plenty of low converted mana cost spells do we apparently not i haven't seen any of them here he goes hypnotic specter every game except for the only game oh that's good yeah that's nice i'm a fan of that this is pretty unfortunate Promino 100, thanks so much for the sub. I really appreciate it. Welcome back. Just stopping by to announce my res. I would just like to announce, to proclaim uh, my resubulation. Really? These are just nice wide bodies. <laughs> Damn, <boy. laughs> That's good. That's a good clip. That's a solid clip. This is what it sounds like when elks cry. Bing, ba, ding, ding. That's from, uh, well, it's not from anything really. So we're going to go fifth land. They're going to go pump her to six. We're going to go sixth land, hopefully, and then we can Inferno Titan. And then they'll put it down to three. She can neg two to kill the Inferno Titan. Uh, we can't do anything about that. She can start ticking up again, and we're probably dead. Not having a play for the first five turns of the game is pretty brutal. Seriously? Seriously? I'm just going to go to the next match. Like, we can't beat this. Yeah, we're probably not beating that. <clears throat> I have a customer that I'm dealing with his name on the paperwork. He's listed as a couch mic. That's pretty hilarious. I bet you can put you post the pick in the Discord. That's pretty hilarious. Unless it's a confidentiality issue, in which case, don't post the pick in the Discord. Because then you'll get fired. Alright, that was actually okay, because we can do one of these jobbies. Um it's actually not great. I think we're still pretty far behind here. Yeah, they just minus the Leon and we're basically effed. Tell me about we can kill their flyer boy though. We killed the flyer boys. I'm gonna deal two here and one to Lily. <clears throat> and then we're gonna get this. Oh, back. That's better, yeah. But then we're like they're still gonna take. They're still gonna draw a card, and then we're gonna kill this, and they're gonna make a bat, and they're gonna draw another card, and we're just like we're so far behind here, and they're gonna neg two Liliana. If they didn't have a way to kill our Inferno Titan, I think we'd be in okay shape. But... Right, but we, they do, and we're not. Well, if you think about it that way, then, yeah. Oh, well, look. Target player sacrifices a creature. I'll sacrifice the one creature that I've drawn this game. <clears throat> a land. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We've drawn ten mana sources and three mana, three spells, two of which were six drops. So, back to the old drawn board. What are you doing over here, man? Whatever I want. Okay, well that doesn't actually clarify it. Got him. I don't think you did, but... but I got him. What's your name? My yeah, name exactly. is Jeff. Nobody. Your name is Nobody. A boy has no name. No, I have a name. What's your name? My name is Jeff. Your name is Buttholes McGillicuddy. Really okay. Try not to laugh at that. <laughs> hey, man, I entered a contest. What did you enter? For an Origin PC. Really? Did you win it? I might. Mm, okay. Tell you what. What do you think the odds are that I just never hear about this again? Probably pretty high. Pretty high, yeah. That's what I would expect, too. But I have one I have won a Twitter contest before, so you never know. You have? Yeah. What did you win on Twitter? A free skin for League of Legends. Oh, a League of Legends skin, wow. Nerd alert. <laughs> hey man, it was an expensive skin. It's like a it's like a twenty dollar skin. This is a premium skin that I won, you see. I love my premium skins. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to bust. I kept this hand. What do you think? I think it's pretty decent. 
I think Remand will probably get us there. Remand is going to get us? They're like, win the game? Oh, good. Mirror match. Great. 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 That's fine. It's fine. It's okay. It's fine. It's okay. We'll remand their two drop. We'll draw land and it'll all be good. And then we're going to kill their three drop with our electrolyze. Mike has that premium skin. Touch it. No, we're not going to do that. Oh, yeah. Put that back in your hand, you greedy little schmiggin. Schmiggin. Give me a signet. Give me my signet. All right. Well, that's not really what I asked for, but I appreciate you. You tried. Next turn we can, if we draw, just play something and we'll electrize it and draw. No, they're land. just gonna play the Azorius Signet again. No, they won't. They're gonna get greedy. Oh, maybe they are getting greedy. They're like, no double blue. I'm going for it. <sighs> Penal art is. Hmm. Oh. Well, good old taters. Oh, it's go. the best target ever. Oh, man, that's gas. Ready for this? Oh, and the perfect land. Oh, God, it's all coming up Millhouse. We're going to snap into Remand, which is going to give us our fifth land. They're going to have nothing on board, and we're going to play Rally McZally. Are you ready? It's going to be the most exciting moment in Magic history. Wow. Wow. I don't want to braid the Signet, because I'm just going to Remand whatever they play. And it's going to be... Yeah, that's getting Remanded. Faux show. Snappy. Snappy McPappy. Choose a remand carefully with the small ass hitbox. I've taken to calling these hitboxes like the, the amount the, the areas where you click in. That's <laughs> pretty funny. Oh it's... What's a turd box though? Is that a thing? Yeah. Really? Mm hmm What's the difference between a hitbox and a hurt box? I don't remember. Oh dang it. Look, now we got the signet. Land, land, land. Rally McZally. Oh, I love that it's in exile as well. So now our, our remand still counts. Oh, Consecrated mm. Sphinx for sure. I want the land, but we're likely to hit a land through drawing. And like the way the top three cards are land, then that's fine. What about the turd box? Do you ever think about that? No. That's your... Oh, uh, you're thinking of the Hurt Locker? Unbelievable. You don't know anything about modern film, do you? You uncultured swine. Who, me? Yeah, you too. Okay. I don't think I've ever seen the Hurt Locker. What about the Turd Locker? <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> I thought that was your favorite movie. Probably yours. The third locker? Yeah. Yeah, no, you're right. Oh, a, a city of brass, huh? Remember that? Remember what happened in round one? Remember we got smashed? Yeah, that was good times. I had fun. Oh, win condition. Uh, I'll take the land. I'll play the land. Do we try to pester my Kiki Jiki here, or we just go... We just Would you like to try to win the game? Sure, I think so. Yeah, but I mean, like, it doesn't guarantee... Like, you have to weigh the odds of, of that working versus the odds of just playing a longer game here. Like, we could just slam Consecrated Sphinx here, which seems also very good. What if they have a counterspell? Well, then this isn't going to resolve either, is it? Well, we also don't have triple red. Yes, we do. We play Signet first. Oh. We go Signet into Pestermite and next turn Kiki Jiki. I feel like you're not even paying attention. I'm not really. Why? Then what are you? What are you here for? For the walls and the memes. All right. Well, as long as that's satisfying to you, we can also abrade this too. Yeah. I like. Is it signet abrade your he? I guess they're gonna draw two though, huh? They just draw two. Yeah. Okay. Hunter, what are you doing over here? You tippy tapping something? 
Tippity tappity hunters on his way. That's like a Santa Claus song, but with Hunter instead. I prefer that. I prefer all my songs to have Hunter in it. Oh, now they can't draw, so now I will abrade it. I guess we'll let this resolve first. That's a good boy. My cat is making a little plaintive muse in her sleep. <laughs> Hunter chases squirrels in his sleep, I assume. Hunter, do you like it when I put your ears on top of each other? No. I do. Does that count? I like ears, Greg. Can you milk me? No. Well, that's unfortunate. He's just dead, right? I mean, if they if they have any answer for Kiki Jiki or Pestermite, they discarded Harbinger of the Tides and Phyrexian Metamorph. Maybe they'll tap out for something stupid. That's my hope. Oh, you can't. You can only go back so far. Once this is this is weird because once it's on the stack, you can't actually untap that land. I don't think. You sure about that? I mean, I think so. Oh yes. Everybody. Oh, that they're dead. You did. Oh, they're dead. This makes our math easier because now we don't have to deal with the six mana, six six damage, the blocker and the life flankers. Oh, Kiki McJeekums. My God, <laughs> got him. Oh, they conceded nice of them. <clears throat> Come on, feel the noise. Michael B. Rock, your boys. You get well, well. Um. Boy, oh, this, stop whimpering. He is. He's a real needy beady. I think. I think we're like. Has he been O U T lately? Give me that filthy Frank. There you go. Uh, he goes by Joji now. Thank you very much. Uh, he went out this morning as he always does, which was around probably four hours ago. I mean, if you took him out, he'd probably go. I don't think he's ever lying when he when he's like, I want to go out. You gotta lie, Craig. Do you think that Ral is vintage cube worthy? Um, I think Teferi is more likely to be in the vintage cube. Because like if you have very similar planeswalkers that do similar things, um, you I think you you're you want to err on the side of the more powerful one, which is Teferi. I will <laughs> you ain't gotta lie, Craig. That's a good that's a good meme too. Oh man, what a classic! How you can get fired on your day off? Look, who wore it best? See, this is a human rogue artificer, and this is a human artificer, and it makes me wonder. The only reason this doesn't have like a class is because it wouldn't fit on the line. So they're just like, make it human artificer. It doesn't have to be a rogue or anything. It's just. It's not going to fit, so just, just put it on there. Been taking the videos on YouTube never get to stream. Oh, Max Barnes, appreciate you being here, though. I'm glad you made this one. Oh, this is a lot of signets. You're, you're just so colorful here. Can I get a counterspell? No, it wasn't it, but that's fine. We got to... It's weird not having any plays before turn four when our deck has like hmm, ten of them. SpongeBob concert with System of a Down. There's a SpongeBob concert. It's turn four. If they just missed two land drops, and they supplemented them with two signets, that's fascinating to me. You ain't got a lie, Mike. Oh my God, he's so white. Can you guys hear Hunter whimpering? I have the deck. I'm ready for you to do a deck. I, you halved? Ha I think you just actually... I think you mean have, right? I wasn't sure if it was halved, like H-A-L-V-E-D, and you put it in half, or if you have it. So I think, I, I think I'm going to err on the side of have, and that makes more sense. So we just kill this? 
You ain't got a lie, Mike. So now we get to Cryptic Command and then untap and turn to a Girl Cryptic Command. Attack all at. Can I have you? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Link it. Link it up. Ready for some culture chat? If you are watching it, you definitely should check out the new Showtime limited series Escape at Dana Mora, starring Benicio del Toro, Paul Dano, and Patricia Arquette. Surprisingly directed by Ben Stiller. Uh, I think Ben Stiller. It, oh, I think I just counter this, right? I think so. Yeah. Because I have nothing else to do, and I want to be able to. I'm gear stuck Hulk. on lands too, so. Counter target spell and draw. Oh, you Hulk. can also bounce. Yeah, but then they just replay it. Like if I bounce this one, they add man in response and replay it. So it's not unexciting. My name is Michael. I live in a garbage can. I think we actually play Glorbringer here, and keep up our mand. This is a lot of damage. Ben Stiller is better than milking cat memes, but he's also responsible for milking cat memes as well. So, you know, you got that going for you. Whatever this is, is I feel bad, but it's not going to happen. I've only countered two things, so I don't feel terrible, but still. Like, you didn't really, you didn't, you didn't really do much, Taters. I'm sorry. Didn't we play against Taters the other day? Are we just crushing Taters left and right? Are we boiling them, mashing them, and putting them in a stew? I think so, yeah. Huh. Potatoes. How many poblano peppers can one typically fit inside their mouth at once, asking for a friend? Well, poblanos aren't too big. Probably like oh, are they actually, 20. Oh, they're kind of long, aren't they? I, I definitely don't think it's 20. I don't think you know what a poblano pepper looks like. I think it's like one and a half, maybe. You don't know me. All right, we'll buy 20 peppers and Michael put 20 of them in his mouth on stream. How's that sound? No, there's a whole hand. Never mind. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think you've ever seen a poblano pepper in your life. I used to cut poblano peppers up and put them in fajitas that I made when I would caramelize, caramelize them with onions. Caramelize. Oh, they said criminalize. I would criminalize them. I would make them do lewd and lascivious acts to each other as peppers. Uh, it's hard not to walk into Pepper Talk when when it's all Pepper Talk. Hope you had a happy Turkey Day bits. Brian, what's thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. Preesh. Did you did you respond to what I said in my fun deck? Nope, here we go. We're basically we basically won already. Ron Tater Salad White. It probably wasn't. I don't think he has uh I think his magic online account isn't under his own name. Oh, that's sad. That's pretty much all of these things. I think he just takes Pestermite. That would be my guess, because this is not great. This is not great, and we can't cast this, but Pestermite killed them. Well, I guess this is a different game, so maybe not. Oh, they took Snappers. Oh, Snappy Boy, Snappy Boy. You done? Yeah. That's good. Glad to hear it. You get knocked down sometimes, but you get up again. Never going to keep you down. Why are you singing that song? Because you're talking you, it. Because you literally were singing the same song? No, I wasn't. Yes, you're. Oh, snappy boy. That's literally from Chumbawamba's Tub Thumping. They say, Oh, Danny boy. Oh, I get knocked down. That's but, the same song? Yes, that's the same song. Are you sure? Can someone in chat confirm that Mike is literally singing the same song? Why are you singing that song? I thought I was literally just singing. <laughs> are they really in the same song? Oh my god, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it do. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Jesus. I thought I was listening to two different songs. <laughs> oh. Why are you singing that song? You mean the literal song you were just singing? Well, let me explain it to you, Michael. Oh, I like that this is the ah! name page. That's great. Pop that back into the... Come on. Red mana. All right. No mana at all. Sounds good. I'm having a good time. Uh, this is the most desperate thing I've ever had to do. 
Not even netting cards. Uh, Probably electrolyze. What? Really? Or PLNR. Yeah, I like that because we're never going to back up now. We can just play World Rogue, sure. <coughs> Three mana, draw one, discard one. But hit your land drop, so I guess you got that going for you. Interesting. I get knocked down, but I get up again. This guy. I'm pretty sure we played TSP, TSP as well. I'm pretty sure we played all these people. Look at this weird, look at Snapcaster's weird arm cannon. I don't know what's that's going where on. He, that's where he shoots his magical goo at you. That's where, that's where his shooties come from. Dissolve, huh? Welp, see you later. Actually, what if I cut the Big Gulps meme down to just Welp, see you later? That's pretty good. But we've already had it on the soundboard. It's been retired. Right, but it was, when it, before it was Big Gulps, huh? Welp, see you later. But I think it might be more appropriate if it just said Welp, see you later. You know? That would be shorter. Well, it's not about the... It's about the... It makes more sense in context. Like, you can use it more frequently in, situa in game situations. Oh, boy. Oh, this could be good. Our whole hand is flashes. Except for Keekums, McJeekums. Oh, my God. Hunter is still whining back there. Steampunk Asian Mega Man. Like you do. They have five cards. I'm going to be honest with you. That's a good amount. Pester might a merry little Christmas. How many slots are on the soundboard? I have uh, 14. 14 different, different memes on the soundboard right now. Do we just go for it? I think it's not great to go for it. I also think that. Let's just keep attacking with this. I'm going to get Snapcaster Mage altered and it's going to say, but did you die on it? Have yourself a merry kiki jiki. Do, 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 do. That's not going to work. Yeah, you're right. Well, I'm glad we didn't do it. Could have countered that, but... Yeah, but then, then they just get the Doomblade back to kill our Torrential Gear Hulk, which is worse. They're like, alright, I'll just do it again next turn and kill your better creature. But then they might die. But did they die? I have also Cryptic Command. Are you familiar with Pepper in my Bepper? <laughs> uh, no. Hunter, stop, dude. Oh. My God. Lord Almighty. Uh, it's a better creature, but it doesn't matter because they would kill it again. We can't combo off that turn, so like... Oh, I, I mean, I'm not sure if you're advocating, uh... Well, no, if they decided to Doomblade our Gear Gearhog, then they could actually die. Right. Maybe that's true. Maybe. Oh, that's cool. We're having a good time. I guess they were good. They were all good on the... on the killing front. They were all good on the killing front. And I want to electrolyze for cards, but it's so much better just to wait until they activate. Creeping Crozy. Creeping Crozy? Mm-hmm. What the hell is that? Creeping Crozy? Yeah, what the hell is Creeping Crozy? You don't know about Creeping Crozy? I'm trying to find out. You're not telling me. He's right there. Right in front of you. That's Kiki Jiki. That's... No, no, no. In front of that. That's Kiki... 
What is it? Kiki Majiki? Kiki Mixjikums. No, what did you call it? The fake thing you called it. Kiki Mixjikum. I can't. Oh, Kijiki Jiki. Kijiki Jiki. That's what it was. That is correct. Oh, I like that. So now we can do. Mage. M -m -m Mage. I have a pull. I have a pen. I have an apple. Do they just not? Can they just run out of cards? Oh, yeah, that's cool. We're having a good time. Everybody's having a good time. I have a kiki. I have a jiki. <laughs> kiki, jiki. How's your back doing, by the way? In this chair, not good. How's it doing in life? Slightly better. I think I, got, I think I can only one stream it today. And then what are you going to do? Probably get my hair cut. My god. I have a pen. I have a apple. Pen, pen, apple, Michael pen. Uh, as someone who has played and uploaded Artifact content already, I'm not that excited about Artifact. Wasn't great. There's just a lot going on. It's hard to keep up with. So it's just like actual Dota? That Maybe. Maybe that's the case. Yeah, maybe it's just a Dota game. Oh, Alright. Well, that's a thing, I guess. So if we attack you... Yeah, we're just gonna attack your your Gijin. By that I mean your Soren. Cause then if we neg Jace. Yeah, we're gonna play land. Cause if we draw land off Jace, I wanna be able to play that too. Oh boy. Good times. But it was not good times, it was bad times. Wait, what if you wait until it flips? I can just flip my own. I don't want them to bounce on my things. Plus, I want to be able to start to keep attacking Soren without making them have enough dudes. I have a Michael. Plus, it blocks. I guess it doesn't block Grim Tar Pit. Michael Pan. Soren is that one, Michael. Hmm. He's basically dead. Heard back from DHL. Turns out I missed checking one box on one of the four forms they gave me, and the box got labeled as any. Wow, that's really obnoxious. Uh, Brian, please email it to me. That would be awesome. Man, they put one card on top, so it's going to be a good one. Here we go. Here we go. Soren is a one Batman symbol. That is. Yeah, figured that would be the case. So long, Jace. I mean, we could have actually plus Jace, but I don't really like giving my opponents cards on. You got me an awesome Xmas gift? What? Uh, I can't block the tar pit. Man, that's exciting. Did Felipe or Harvey Spell ever get his package? I don't know, actually. I didn't check. He was just like, well, that's no good. So. Well, biscuits. I'll butter my biscuits every day. Butter those biscuits, Michael B. Yeah, we're just going to kill your... Shoot. One, two, three. 
Go ahead, come at me with the creeping tar pit. I dare you. I dare you, dude. I will... Hey, man, if you guys want to get me Christmas gifts, you can knock yourself out. I'll send it out again this coming week, and it should... I can't believe it got... Oh, my God. Like, literally making it all the way to the United States, and then, like, sending it all the way back just because of a mischecked box is so ridiculous. Gonna find out who's naughty or nice. Michael B. is coming to town. Marty here. He's sleeping in the mornings. He's sleeping through the day. He doesn't get many things done because he's lazy. Michael B. Michael B. Sleeping every single day. Uh, sacking the thing that's probably been in the thopter. I just didn't even think about it. I shouldn't have attacked with this. I've made terrible mistakes in my life. Uh, actually, I'll just kill one with the signet. Let me get rid of both. Yeah, that's actually fine. Just use the mana that's in the pool, bro. I got your present. It's the gift of a compliment. You are an awesome dude. Jersey, appreciate it, buddy. I accept your gift. I told you I got that first box I sent you back finally right. No, you didn't actually, which is awesome. That's good to hear because I was like, oh, I guess this doesn't exist. Yeah, that's nice to hear that it didn't actually just disappear into like the USPS void. Oh, gonna play a thing. It's a Snapcaster Mage. What are you gonna do? You're gonna anguish on making my mind control. It actually doesn't seem that impressive, so. I guess you could also play Vraska's Contempt. Careful consideration. That's a good one. That is a good one. I would have gotten your present, but now it's the past. But when will then become now? Soon. Do you know that? Do you know that, you know that's from? Nope. Space balls, Michael. Why don't you cast this on your turn? Like you just get to keep an extra card if you cast it on your turn. You have like infinite mana, but maybe like you're just trying to find one thing to do rather than multiple things to do. They have nine cards in their deck versus our fifteen. This game has gone on forever. I'm, I basically feel like I'm almost dead or now. I feel like I've aged twenty years. Hunter, you're going to have to stop, buddy. You doing all right? You're sitting there quietly playing with a rubber band. Who hasn't heard of yogurt? Who hasn't heard of yogurt? There. Now we both did a Spaceballs meme. <laughs> Brian, I'll definitely I'll check it in a I'll check it in a second. All he rich in summer day twice. Soren comes down in negative twos. Soren Claus is coming to town. I feel like we're behind. Yeah, because we haven't drawn any like really bombs. Where's our Consecrated Sphinx? We don't have Inferno Titan. Um, mind Control was pretty pretty meh here. Uh, Glorybringer would be great. Our deck, I think our deck just lacks card drawing. Yeah, this is actually okay, I guess. I'll deal with it. I don't know. The abilities on Soren do make me... Like, I'm like, oh, plus one, negative nine, and then negative X. I feel like the negative X should definitely be higher. That threw me the other day. I was like, wait, what's going on? Why is this like this? What's happening right now? Why didn't you play that first and then play Soren? You would have gotten a guy out of it. Now do we bounce all their stuff? No, because then they get to replay Snapcaster and reset Soren, and we'll just play that instead. <laughs> That's a good one. I don't know if you. I don't know if you heard about. Have you heard about the consecrated Sphinx? No, tell me about it. 
Our, have you have you heard about our Lord and Savior consecrated Sphinx? No. Oh, we get to draw two, and I'm so excited. Whoa. About it. Oh, there it is. There's your boy. Kill this. Kill this. Oh yes. High five. High five. <laughs> High five. That was a backwards five. It was the best five. Oh, oh, good. You hit a ruinous path. How convenient. What a life of convenience you live, opponent. Biscuits. Biscuits. This is a story of a sphinx. And the river and jam the whole... They have six cards in their library. Can they even win with six cards? Probably not. They're probably dead. Are they gonna... Are they gonna awaken this? It's alive. They should awaken on the tar pit. And they could get in a bunch of damage. Yeah. Like, seven. But then I could kill it. Oh, you're going to target this, really? How lucky that you ever done. Did you see the Eldest Reborn come over here? In the No. You probably didn't, because you're never, you never very observant. Never very detail-oriented. Um, I can't really do anything against this, right? So I guess I'll just nope let it happen. I mean, we can still kill Soren, which is great. We can still kill Monastery Mentor, which is great. And then we can still kill this, which is great. Uh, we're gonna go block here. I'll take six. Cry a river and drown the whole river. Why is this song stuck in my head? Oh, because someone said this is a story of the consecrated sphinx, and I was like, that's like the song. All right, all these things are good. Uh, can I kill you? Uh, attack Soren and exert. <clears throat> All right, so they have s they have eight total cards that they can kill us with. Creeping Tarpit does kill us in three turns, so they might want to actually start tarpitting us. That's probably a strong enough clock that uh, we can't really deal with it. But is this game one? Mm, no, I don't think so. This game two? Who knows? I don't know. I don't know anything. Okay, well, that's helpful. If only there was some easy way to display that on the client. <laughs> yeah, you wish. Oh, wow, they're activating this too? Mother of God. Murderous cut. Targeting that, huh? Sure. It's a weird choice. So we take six here? I think we have to just bounce this guy. How about Inferno Titan off the top? Ral Zara could be great off the top, too. Mountain is actually yeah. sick. I roll. So this is gone. I cast that guy. Four cards left in your library. Thank God you're everyone on. Was worried I'd have to be responsible for it. No way, buddy. I got you covered. I got you covered. I can't actually tell what game this is. It's all, blur it's all blurred together now. Yeah. Get rid of the Electrolyze. So we're going to five, and then they have three, four, five, six. So we go to two, and they can deal one. So we can go to one next turn. We'll just keep you back. Same as like blocking, I guess. <clears throat> I 
Good times. Everything is alright. Mountains in my hand. That's a song about mountains. Oh, yeah? Yeah, bro. This is the story of a mountain. I actually don't know how many answers we have to this. Like, obviously, Flame Slash doesn't do it. Incinerate probably comes in here. Oh, cool. Three. Wow, that's amazing. 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 lands. Just incredible. How many cards did they exile? Four of them. Well, we exiled the Remand. They were able to exile the other things with Anguish Done Making and Vraska's Contempt. Oh, that's a good... That's a spicy meatball. I'm going to bring in the Incinerate. Fight with Fire almost seems good. I wonder if we just play like Bane Fire and Fight with Fire and just try to like burn them, burn them, burn them face. Me burn them face. Yeah, exactly. I don't think Rift is great here. Flame Flash seems pretty poor. What is? Flame Flash. Ah, oh, they have Mentor in the meek. Yeah. Or Mentor, whatever his yeah, name is. Yeah, they have creatures. This is just bad against our land. Like, even thing in the ice. What about a braid? It's kind of like... Sorcery doesn't deal with... Didn't we kill... No, it kills Mentor. Like, it kills a bunch of yeah. stuff. Yeah. We gotta cut some now. Oh, well, we... Yeah. 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 Cut Whirler Rogue. 41 it. Yeah, I'm always on the road with the 41. Who's your favorite commander these days? I need some new inspiration. Favorite commander? Probably still... Um... Richard? Yeah, Richard. Richard Stevens the Richard's third. my favorite commander. What does that even mean? No, Mike Frill, what does it mean? No one knows what it means. Alright, well, we're really hoping for a mountain here. You know what? I'll take a red source of any kind. Sulphur Falls, Spire Bluff Canal, Is It Signet. Any of those are good. Land in an Is It Signet would really be. Yep, that's going to be problematic. Did we win game one? Oh, this is round three? Mm hmm. I actually forgot that. So they're going to have a turn two Bitter Blossom, and we are going to miss our third land drop. Sorry, I, I just think I'm too stupid to understand this. How about now? Still now? Okay. Well, magic is a fun and interactive game. Why do I do this to myself? What did I do? Uh, I think eating cereal for dinner is actually just fine. Uh, I personally err on the side of two bowls of cereal for dinner because it's... You're going to need at least two bowls of cereal for it's dinner. It's not super filling, but I, I do like it. I think it's a good option. Did you ever answer the question the commander question? I forgot the name of my commander. Give oh me a second. Oh, my God. Uh, my favorite commander is Sadisi. Uh, have you ever applied for a job as a voice actor in anime movies? No, but I've actually considered it very heavily, and I didn't know how to break into it, so I didn't look any further into it. That's actually pretty funny that you would say that. What did you say? Who? Sadisi. Oh, because literally someone said, Mike, how did your Sadisi deck turn out? So I feel like the chat actually is more familiar with your deck than you are. <laughs> uh, my Sadisi deck still needs a lot of work. It's not really competitive yet. Which CDC? Probably the Sultai CDC. Yeah, the Sultai CDC. I don't think Mike's the uh, kind CDC of guy who wants Brood, to limit to just black CDC. No, I ain't about that mono black life. Yeah, he, he, Mike has not struck me as a mono color commander player. I don't play commander without blue, so. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's how it works right there. Wow. All right, a bunch of powerful artifacts against, or enchantments against the... Well, they missed, like, they've also missed land drops here. I don't know if that bodes any better for us, but... What if these both kill them? What if they just die before we can actually... Like, this is two damage a turn. It's a lot. They have to win in, like, nine turns. And then Inferno actually... Titan, if that resolves and, like, kills a bunch of their tokens. Or it just kills their face. Oh, I was hoping they would never hit a white source.
You're pretty good. At least you make me laugh and doing different voices. I really, I, pre I appreciate you saying so. That's that. Hey, man, you like my new instrument? No one likes your new instrument. A boom, 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 boom. I feel like you're in a, a really shitty jug band. <laughs> you gonna remand this? No, you're not gonna remand it. Well, I'm gonna try to flame slash this guy so that you only have one attacker, which means Jace would live. We'll see if you want to remand that. Now we'll draw one because. And we'll play a land. Alright. In front of Titan. I feel like they have remand. They were probably going to do it. <coughs> I hope they tap out for some stupid idiot creature. Not a Sorin, though, because that's a good one. However, if they play Sorin, we can just mine. We can just uh, Infernal Titan. Actually, what's Ral at? One, two... Ral's at three? That's pretty good. Oh, it's Roomba. I have it set on a schedule. This is the story of Mike B. What's the schedule? 5 p.m. Every day? Eh, like every other day. Although Mike looks so sad in photographs, I have some love when he's mine. You can also try out for the bear in the musical of Disney's Jungle Book. Is that really? Is that true? Got those bear necessities, those simple bear necessities. He's already at twelve. Oh, look, he gained two life. Congratulations. Congratulations. You got all the things. You got a Ruinous Path. You got a Vraska's Contempt. You got a Never Return. You have all three of your Destroy a Planeswalker cards. I'm, we're all very impressed with your... I'm going to actually play Consecrated Sphinx first because if they want to counter something, this is what I would prefer you counter. Yeah, Inferno Tide's probably better for resolves. So. Agreed. Man, they just have never-ending <clears throat> answers. Yeah, it's really, it's really something. You got those. So twelve to twelve here. Must be nice. So we're going to actually take seven here and go to five, and then we're just dead on board. So thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Unfortunately, we only went one, two with this deck because our opponent had literally everything they ever needed, and uh, we got stuck on lands, which is a blast. But thank you guys so much. Really appreciate the support. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'm not sure if I said that. It all runs together at a certain point. But you can also check me out on Twitch and Patreon in the description below. And be sure to check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. If you use my affiliate link, I do get a kickback, and you get 15% off free shipping and free returns. So if you need that kind of thing anyway, definitely a great opportunity to help me out and help out yourself. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.